All right, I'm pulling up Dark Cloud 2 on PCX2, which is PlayStation 2 emulator, and I got a cheat code from the Discord, the PCX2 Discord. This guy gave, made, made me a cheat code uh, that is essentially a graphics mod, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to save states, get where I want really fast, to show you what this cheat code does and why you need it. Okay, so pay attention to the background above the buildings. You see that there is some distortion going on in sort of that wall. That is something that a lot of people who play Upscaled have noticed and figured that this was a bug caused by upscaling the textures. It is in fact not that, and there's a cheat code that this guy from the Discord made me that fixes it. So I'm about to fix it. Behold. And boom, I have just enabled cheats, and that ripple effect that was going on in the background is gone. This is what this does. So now let me go back a little bit and explain why you need this cheat code, if you want it, and how this in fact is not a bug due to upscaling resolutions, but rather a native Dark Cloud 2 depth of field game engine that has to be patched in order to achieve this desired effect. Okay, so we're back with the cheat disabled, and you can see the bug happening in the background. So this is a part of Dark Cloud's depth of field as it was intended back on the PlayStation 2. And if I toggle, uh, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> if I toggle system mode, you can see uh, the original PlayStation 2 graphics and all of its blurry glory. It's difficult to see, but I promise you that those blurring effects that are happening on that castle wall in the background, that's still happening. So you hear it's clear, and walk away now, and it's blurry. You can see that blur line, you know, sort of extending, retracting. But if I go back to high definition, you know, that, that blur line is extremely clear. And so that's the thing, is that it's not because I upscaled the graphics, it's just that without everything looking ridiculous and blurry, you can actually notice this. Uh, and so people noticed this and were like, whoa, this is a bug. And it's like, no, this is just how depth of field worked back on the PlayStation 2 around the year 2000. They weren't looking 20 years in the future and saying, how would this look like in 4K resolution uh, back when people were playing on CRTVs? So here's blur background. This has an impact on the effect, but it doesn't turn it on and off. It affects the radius. Blur background is off. It's actually a very big radius of high resolution textures. Um, but if we turn it on, blur background on, now it's gonna start affecting things close to us, except now it's, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I see it. Yeah, I'm not even close enough to this building uh, to have it start acting weird. Okay, boom. You see the building in front of us just went. Now the, the textures that this is affecting are much closer to us. The wall is way back there. If we look back on how this originally would have looked, uh, building blurry, get up closer, building in focus. Building blurry, building up focus. So, you're just able to see it better in high resolution, but this is happening regardless of whether you're upscaling this or not. And so the only way to fix it, I mean, you can toggle with all the different effects you want on the PCX2 uh, configurations, plugins, nothing is gonna fix this because this is just straight up Dark Cloud 2 game engine, which is why you need this cheat, which was provided to me uh, via the Discord. Uh, user Kojinov made it for me, which is awesome. And so now I'm showing what exactly this cheat code does uh, to be able to share it with you. So now I'm gonna re-enable re the cheat again. And boom, I have re-enabled the cheat and you can see clearly that none of the blur effects is happening. And even, you know, in old school PlayStation 2 graphics, I mean, now everything is in focus. There is no more blurring. And it doesn't matter if I go to the in-game options menus, uh, whether I put blur background on or off, uh, you know, nothing is being affected. And so, if you don't have access to PCX2 and doing this, you're probably not even gonna notice this problem, but if you do, uh, there is a link to this cheat code in the description of the video. I promise it is not a virus. I should have went over this. <laughs> this is not a virus. I, I, I swear. Uh, I downloaded it. It's fine. It's a dot... Uh, it's it's a cheat code file. A dot... PNACH file. P-N-A-C-H. Yeah. 
uh, and you put it in, there's a cheats folder uh, in the directory of the PCX2, and you drop it in there, uh, you go to system, uh, you go to system, game settings, enable cheats. That's what I was trying to say. Enable cheats. System, game, blah, 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 enable cheats. <laughs> My god. Uh, and you, tur you turn it on and it just works. Wow, I did a great job of describing that. Wish I had some more of that information at hand. But yeah, uh, thanks to Kojinov, thanks to the Discord. Just wanted to show everybody how it works as my kudos for them doing that and this this is not a bug it's it's just a game engine and they found an awesome workaround by patching the way depth of field works in this game thanks for watching bye bye